Okay, do you hear that? It's golden. <laughs> So I checked into an hotel to get a vacay away from my vacay life, to get some alone time away from me being alone all the time. And to be honest, it feels fucking amazing. Not my stay. So my plan is to read books, watch movies, write on my projects, and look at my amazing view. My heavenly bed, got a little kitchen area, and look at this amazing bathroom, I just feel so fortunate to be able to be here, shout out to Solsiden Brygge who hooked me up here at their beautiful place, totally recommend it if you're ever up north in Norway, and of course brought my doggies Marley and I love when you guys say that you can kind of sense Sunday's personality through the screen, through my videos. She's so... She's more like a human cat. Like, she's so wise. Her eyes... She's literally communicating with me so much. Yes, and you want your compliments. Marley's really sassy, very witty and smart and quick and... Yes, you're so smart. Got myself some noodles. I feel kind of self-conscious. Because I don't know if my neighbor is going to hear me or not. There's just different postures and things that you can just do. Of course you can do them in front of other people, but there is kind of this... Your subconscious mind is like, mm, maybe not freak people out. You know, when you're like watching something like this. When you just get like a, a kick to do something. And you just can. So freeing. So, so freeing. I started watching The Lighthouse yesterday. Damn, like I love the movie so much, but my soul is like, please don't watch stuff like this. Just not now. You're, I'm like, I don't, I'm literally talking to myself. It's confusing. But I'm in such a good place right now, I just don't want to mess with that in any way. So I'm just like filling my life with beautiful books. I read this beautiful book. Was it yesterday? I finished it in one day. It was this Christmas book. It was just about this. Everything was just fine. If you ask me, I wish... Not really, that's a lie. But most movies and books and music, in my opinion, doesn't have to be all of that dramatic and they have to go through some challenges in my opinion it can just be happiness and I can watch that that's why I like watching YouTube videos sometimes more than like I like watching a movie because in movies something horrible has to happen for people to like it uh, but my mind loves to watch people just they're on vacation, having a beautiful time, twilight number four, no three, two, I don't know, the one where they go on the honeymoon before everything goes insanely bad. I could watch that. They get married, they have a honeymoon, the end, happy ending. But yeah, the lighthouse, god.
lot of the cinematography. Every single shot is literally like a beautiful photo from 18 something. But I love the characters, I love the kind of setting, especially when I'm up here. There's literally a lighthouse right outside here. And the weather, and it's very like a movie you should watch when you're a place like this. I just don't want to mess with my peaceful mind that I have these days. I'll never catch you while I'm this small. My curious butterflies. You mean bread and butterflies? Oh, yes, of course. and put an alarm on because I was going to launch something with another person September 2nd 2020. So I'm uploading this video on that day because I felt like I had to say something about it because it's not happening anymore. I'm just going to be open about the whole thing. So September 2nd 2020. 19 last year on this date my two brothers came to me with an idea of me starting a clothing brand and gave me a name for the brand that they thought was cool and I loved it as well one week later literally one week later a girl a woman what do you call people our age I don't know young adult no she's a woman she contacted me and said that she wanted to start something with me something like a clothing brand something like that and we instantly just were on the same wavelength it, I can't tell like sometimes the universe throws you these crazy kind of obvious signs that we should do something together we were born on the same date the same year the same time clock the same literally the same moment we were both born where we had the same kind of idea of what we wanted to create the same idea about sustainability that we of course wanted to make it ethical and blah 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 and then the whole covid thing happened and that was right when we were about to kind of take off to kind of go and visit different suppliers and all of that so it just didn't happen and I wanted to talk open about this because this happens a lot if you're in the industry of creating stuff and I don't know, being an entrepreneur, um, being creative and th these things happen and they suck sometimes because you really believe in it, you really, you have this vision and it's not always that, most likely it's not going to happen exactly how you want it to happen. Um, 
And I think we both just, we accepted the fact that it was not gonna happen now, maybe in the future I would love to create it for you guys uh, and for myself because what we wanted to create I can't find out there in the world. So it's something that I still want to do and I want to do it with this person as well. I always believe that things happen for a reason. So if this whole thing happened because we each had a lesson to be learned and that was it, we're not gonna see each other again and maybe that was it, maybe it was because this had to happen for us for something else to be able to happen this was just like a little stepping stone to something else so that we both could do what we both are doing now which is something different than what we did before we met each other or if this is supposed to happen sometime in the future but just not now like i i really don't have the answer to that now this is how i approach every everything every opportunity every idea I have, everything, basically anything that's happening in my life, this is my approach and that is that I'm gonna work at something as long as I find it fun, interesting and I feel passionate about it and I just follow along, go with the flow. If it's not gonna happen, it's not gonna happen. If something else is gonna come out of it, something else is gonna come out of it. And um, it just puts you at this ease of knowing that the best outcome will always happen and that you're ready to take what's coming your way and uh, make the most of it. So I am really sorry that this didn't happen. It, it was out of our control and I'm sure it happened for a reason and I'm sorry that I made all of you kind of sit with this anticipation and excitement for it and I have nothing to deliver. I hate doing that to you. But I hope my honesty and this little story gave you something. Maybe this all was planned because all of you who actually wrote it down needed to hear exactly this because your plans didn't go the way that you wanted. So maybe it's all for a reason. I really, really do believe that. Both for me and for you. Oatmeal with banana and peanut butter. I just can't. So that was my little story and um, today I'm gonna work, podcast, a couple of sponsored photos and story and stuff like that. This video, maybe I should film something, I don't know. <laughs> So on my way out to go for a walk with my doggies, here's my drip if you're interested. I always leave down below links to, or I try to remember at least, <laughs> to leave down below the links to everything that I'm wearing. Um, as you know, I try to choose as sustainable as possible, as often as possible, and ethical as possible, as often as possible. Um, but you know, in the world we live in today, it's not perfect, but it is an attempt and an effort to make good decisions. So yeah, that was a long weird rant about what I'm wearing. So and rust on your door and never needed anything more of are you sure never have I ever before good morning guys last last day here at the hotel so I'm just packing my stuff down in a suitcase and I'm gonna head back to my brother's little house.
think I'm gonna go for a hike today and I'm gonna leave my dog so it's just gonna be me so we're gonna have that kind of what do you call it cherry on the cake last moment for myself before my work week begins Okay, we're ready to leave. So, drip for the day, as always. Leaving it down below in the description box, what I'm wearing. And I'm back home. Let me show you some new additions to the house. This cute, thrifted, um, old school, what do you call this in English? Like a like a mm, 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 chair and these two what is this <gasps> wow so cool it's like a poster with fishes that are in the Norwegian coast very very cool so I just quickly wanted to address the title of this video. I've been talking a lot about it in my podcast. I will link down to that one specific episode where I talk about not wanting to label myself anything really, but especially not an introvert or extrovert. Not that I really care that much uh, what other people think and what other people want to label me as, but for myself, I don't want to put myself in a box and restrict a lot of kind of characteristics about myself that would not necessarily fit into either or because I feel like everyone has a mixture of a lot of different things if you want to hear the whole rant about it I'll leave it down below but basically my opinion is that it's the same with everything in life what you believe in you become so if you keep saying I'm an introvert that's not typically me I wouldn't do that um, I don't, I don't like that, whatever. That is gonna become your reality. That is what you're gonna limit yourself as. So for a very long time, I've been calling myself an introvert, even though I have been getting energy from being around the right people, you know? Um, yes, I, my energy can feel drained either with the wrong people or if I just keep saying to myself, I'm an introvert, I'm an introvert. Soon it's gonna kick in, soon I'm gonna feel drained, soon I'm gonna feel like I want to be alone. And if you keep kind of saying that to yourself, of course that's gonna happen. So um, this summer I did an experiment, just listen to my podcast if you want to hear the whole thing. And just stopped calling myself that and I just went out into situations I knew that would usually drain me because I would tell myself it would. And it didn't drain me because I told myself that it wouldn't do that and I gave myself five, I think it was five steps that I would follow that would make sure that I wouldn't feel drained. And it fucking worked. So I just want to put that out there uh, in case you are labeling yourself either or. And you feel like if you're an introvert, you want to be more social, you feel like you're locked into this, oh, why am I an introvert? Why do I always have to be alone? I want to be out, I want to have a lot of friends, I don't want to feel drained by being social. Then please listen to the episode and also if you, the opposite, if you're an extrovert and you feel like you should get used to being alone more, you want to uh, be able to kind of fill yourself up by being alone because that is a superpower in itself. Um, hey! Hey! Marley's so happy being back with all of her toys, so she's so she's back and forth picking another toy, just giving it to me. <laughs> the reason I call this video me being an introvert is because I have been behaving like an introvert all weekend and it's been really good sometimes you need it and sometimes you need the opposite so yeah find your balance nothing is right nothing is wrong just do whatever feels right to your heart um now my plan is just to get settled back here and then prepare to go for a hike by myself thank you for being here by the way. Leave a like if you're interested, uh, subscribe if you're interested, leave a comment.